hope Kevin and Natalie aren't having sex again. I hate it when they have sex. It makes my stomach churn. I try not to listen, but I find myself mesmerised. It's like a car accident, a never-ending head-on collision involving a rhinoceros and another rhinoceros. <laughs> they live upstairs. When they do it, I can't hear my soap operas. The glamour of a soap opera hints that sex is but a short step away. Kevin has six chins, a beer belly, and a big drooping moustache. And so does Natalie. <laughs> I try to work out the logistics of how they do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some secret method. It must be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Haystack is wearing a t-shirt which reads, Official Boob Inspector, please form a queue. And then they start making noises. He sounds like a drunken cart horse trying to sing Minnie the Moocher at a wedding karaoke. She sounds like a puzzled Neanderthal trying to work out how to tune a skybox. And when they finally get somewhere, she yells, Take me, Des Lynam, I'm yours. <laughs> Last night I tried to sleep in the bathroom hoping to be insulated from their amorous cacophony. Only the water pipes fed each squelch, slap, squirt and raspberry of their ungainly coupling. It sounded like an elephant with trapped wind trying to squeeze the last drops from a washing up bottle. You always know it's going well when he starts whistling. You always know it's going really well when she joins in. <laughs> Last night must have been excellent because they both belted out the theme tune to the Wombles. <laughs> Every night I know it's coming. I try to prepare myself. Earplugs, earphones, sleeping tablets, dustpan and brush, dreading the moment of climax when for some reason Natalie shouts out every flavour of pop noodle she can think of. <laughs> And then they start with the small talk, really loud small talk. Who's my plopsy wopsy? Who's my plopsy wopsy? You're my plopsy wopsy. Yes, you are. Hey, let me have some of that Swiss roll. They're doing it up there. They're doing it and I'm not. I'm down here doing nothing and they're doing it. How can they do it so much? How can they, they're making me grumpy with their incessant rumpy pumpy, leading me to desperation with their never ending fornication as if each moment, each grunt, each whispered nothing is but a finger pointed at me saying you have no one, you have no one, you have no one. This sort of thing never used to happen when I lived in a bungalow. 